Hi, welcome everybody. We are back with another interview episode. And today I have uh, a gentleman that I have met briefly at Thought Bubble of two years ago, I think, or was it almost two years ago, this, this year, two years ago. And uh, yeah, he is a great human being and we had some tech trouble to get into this, but uh, that doesn't keep us from having a great interview. So uh, welcome, Luke. How are you doing, buddy? I'm good. How are you? You, you. I think you have noticed right now that I didn't say your last name because I st I'm still not sure how to pronounce it. Priest. It's priest. just priest. Yeah, like like priest, but without the T on the end. Ah, uh, yeah. So it's it's not like Nike or Porsche. No, you, like you can you can call me Priestie if you want to. I don't mind. You can call, <laughs> okay. me what, call me what you want. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah just just making sure so yeah uh luke really ha great to have you on the show uh you've been an artist that has been dabbling in a lot of different uh, uh avenues of the illustration world so that's uh, really interesting and uh, we're going to dive in a lot of those today but before we're going to start uh we are we will be looking at the speed round. Uh, you might have seen this with other uh, other interviews that I've done. And yeah, the okay. speed round is uh, always, I, I like to always have a little fun with this. And uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to start off easy with my with the, with the favorite one. Uh, or maybe not, we'll see. <laughs> uh, our first one is, what's your favorite color? Oh man, it's got to be black, surely. Black. A lot of yeah. blacks, obviously the black comes up a lot. That's true, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, let's move on to a maybe more easier one. Uh, favorite holiday destination? Oh, man. Do you have one? California. California. I mean, it's warm and nice. What's what's not to like, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's good. Great. <laughs> uh, this one is a tough one. What's your favorite form of media in terms of like CD, DVD, Blu-ray, uh, VHS, cassette, vinyl? It's got to be vinyl. All right, vinyl, perfect. Why, 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 why is that vinyl? Because I listen to a lot of music and I collect vinyl. Well, you know, obviously it's had a huge resurgence, and just because of work, I kind of stare at it a lot and just appreciate yeah. the, the whole art side of it as well. Mm -hmm. Well, how big is your collection? Oh, it's not that big. I would, I, you know, yeah, I'm not like I don't have like a huge collection or anything like that. Yeah. It's just um, I tend to just buy the albums that I like. I've been kind of been going through a I got rid of all my CDs huh. like about a few years ago, and then I just started going through and replacing all the albums that I had on CD on vinyl again. Oh, okay, nice. That's that's really great. So, is, there, is there a particular music genre you really into? Uh, I listen to a lot of metal music, I guess, or alternative music. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I have a lot of that. But you know, listen to a mixture of stuff really. No, right, no, right. and uh, yeah. Coming, coming to that uh, next question, then uh, what is the song that is on heavy rotation right now? Oh man, now you're asking. Um, <laughs> I listen to a lot of stuff. I need to like look at my Spotify to remind myself what I'm looking at. Yeah, um, what I'm listening to. I know um, the Spotify favorite song feature of the yeah, year yeah, yeah, that I, helps. I, I to, well, I end up, I do end up like listening to a you know quite a few like uh, soundtracks and stuff more than actual mm. bands, if that makes sense. Like. Um, I've been listening to a lot of like the cyberpunk soundtrack, yeah. Um, the video game, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then what was the question? Was it a song? Uh, wait, what song is on heavy rotation right now? Is it like something you like, for example, if you work on uh, uh, on Lord of the Rings, you listen to the Lord of the Rings soundtrack <laughs> over and over? I'm just, I'm just trying to remind myself. Uh, I've been listening to um. An old band, actually, that I used to listen to back like when I was younger, a band called Earth Tone Nine. Mm -hmm. um, and what's the song that they have that I always really like? It's like a really popular one. Um, it's not coming up. I can't remember what the song's called. It's but fine. Yeah, but check out the band, people. That's yeah. what Luke listens to. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're a good band. Um, yeah, uh, Tat Twam Asai, the song's called. Oh, but yeah, okay, okay. been listening to them, been listening to them again. Um, yeah yeah and uh, keeping the song related here uh what's your favorite or go-to karaoke song oh my god i don't do karaoke at all but <sighs> what would you do though what would you do though <laughs> what would i do uh let's go uh slayer rain in blood just for fun all right all right there you go <laughs> <laughs> wild karaoke choice <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> i wonder if the crowd can sing along <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah um what would your uh, job be if you would not be an artist um well i spent years trying to be a musician mm-hmm. so what, what what part of I, the band or musicianship uh, are you, you doing guitar um so i'd love to say that but that's like quite a hard uh world mm. to get into um probably just be just a graphic designer Right, just, right, if, right, I, if right. I wasn't doing illustration, I'd be just doing graphic design. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think uh, I forgot who it was, but I think one person said uh, they wanted to be a gardener because they love plants okay. so much. Yeah, I'm I'm into my gardening, so yeah, I can oh, see that. There you go. Yeah, I love <laughs> I love mowing the lawn. So yeah, <laughs> it's good nice. Fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, sp- speaking of uh, 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 the 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 job itself uh and uh like if you were not an artist uh being a guitarist um mm-hmm. is there if like do you have a favorite guitarist you can only name one though oh man yeah i know it's tough questions here <sighs> who's the first one that pops to your head that's always it's, the right answer it's james hatfield hey there you go easy <laughs> there you go but he, he's the first person yeah yeah that i would think of Right. He's, a, he's a master of the riff so yeah <laughs> okay co- coming back to illustrations here uh portray landscape or square or oh, something else man. i do i'd say um first choice man Land- landscape landscape Lands- okay. landscape for movie posters portrait for gig posters all right gonna, all right yeah <laughs> got you got, got to take both here <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right uh do you have a favorite food um i really like mexican food um yeah. but being british i love a good roast dinner so all right that's fair enough i yeah. mean roast dinner is pretty pretty nice so yeah <laughs> i can i can go with that as well and uh last but not least what's your favorite seat in the cinema and which snack do you take I like to have, it's got to be on an end of an aisle. Okay. Just in case you've got to go out and go for a pee or I've got to like take the kids out to the toilet or something like that. It's just mm. in and out, easy access. And what was the other one? And uh, what food do you take? Like snack food? <laughs> oh man. Um, it's got to be popcorn with Maltesers mixed in. All right. Nice choice. Yeah. I like that. All right, this this uh, commences a speed round. <laughs> I hope you liked your answers. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's it's hard when you you put me on the spot like that. It's it's. Uh, I mean, I that's the that's the exercise. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's talk about uh, you and your career here a little bit more. I mean, uh, you have been uh, trying out as a guitarist, I guess, uh, but uh, artist it is. <laughs> so how how did this come about? How did you become an artist, and like, how, what's your journey in uh, to the person or the artist that you are now? Okay, um, I always answer this the same because most most people, most artists, I would say, would say the same thing that they all. Would drawing as it from a very young age you know um, mm. for me it was always music and art as a kid as like a teenager so I was always yeah obviously like playing the guitar and just like reading comic books and stuff mm. um I was a big fan of 2080 comics as a kid so that was quite inspiring to me um mm. uh I used to you know just draw pictures of Judge Dredd and stuff like that as a kid um and uh yeah, and then, you know, I kind of, um, I did art, art at A-level, left school, um, and then went to art college, dropped out of art college um, mm-hmm. because, I got, because I got a job as a junior graphic designer. So that's kind of wow, how okay. I started. And you skipped like, skip the degree, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, I kind of, I was doing a foundation in art. And I kind of got to the point in that where you were meant to specialize in what it is that you want to do in the art world. Um, and also at that time, because this was like the late 90s, I, I kind of feel like being a professional artist at that time just didn't seem like something that you could do full time. So it was mm. like, what is creative? Oh, I can make some money doing graphic design. That's kind of creative. <laughs> so that's kind of how I started, I guess. And that was just, this would have been like late 90s. So it's learning. Yeah. Uh, you know, early versions of Photoshop and that kind of stuff. There were no drawing tablets or anything then. It was mm. all just like clicking with a mouse. 
um, and just doing like basic layout stuff, just text and images and things like that for quite mm. corporate work, I guess. How does it uh, how does it feel compared to uh, nowadays for you as a, as an artist? Do you like do you see you evolve with the technology, or do you see yourself in oh shit, I wanted this back then because uh, I had so many great ideas, but or h- how was this process in the digital world? Um, I think it's still the same. I mean, like you know, I uh, I try not to get sort of caught up in like having the latest tech to do the work. It's like, you know, the way I work when I'm drawing, it's I would do exactly the same with a pen. Mm-hmm. But it's just done digitally. And okay. you've just got an, you've got an undo now, which I didn't, mm. you know. Uh, so I used to sort of, when I was first getting into doing illustration work, I was working more traditionally. And mm. then um jumping forward slightly because after working as a graphic designer I, I worked in video games for a bit and then when I worked in video games I was using a I was using Wacom tablets and stuff to do concept mm. art and then then later on a Cintiq um where you're actually drawing on the screen um and then that's when I sort of started doing my own sort of bits and bobs I guess you'd say um and then okay. you started thinking Yeah, and how how did it how did it turn into the because obviously uh, we, we we love to talk about the movie poster section of uh, your career. Uh, so how, how did it uh, how did you get into the movie side of things? Um, oh man, how did I get into that? Um, <laughs> I think I did. Uh, my first movie poster was for uh, Hero Complex Gallery. Mm-hmm. And back then, I didn't know what I was doing. I mean, I was just sort of, <laughs> it was all a lot of guesswork. I look back at some of the work now, and I'm just like, it is what it is it, of the time. You know, I was kind of I was learning. Like <laughs> yeah, I was like learning on the job, um, I guess. Um, and I was doing that whilst still working in video games. Um, mm. So... By the way, yeah. I just, I'm just I'm just going to pull up some uh, some of your video game uh, um, art you you've been doing. So well, just just keep on talking along. I'll I'll just show that. Yeah, sure. So that, this was um, yeah, that's uh, that was something I did for Rebellion. Uh, it's the 30th anniversary of the video game Alien versus Predator. So mm. I did that, for that. Yeah. Um, what were we saying? Uh, you That's were talking about how do how do you got into the movie posters and you talked about Hero Complex. Yeah, I worked with them for a bit, and then you know um, with uh, Tim and Adam who run the gallery, mm. um, and through that I met uh, a lot of other artists as well. Um, uh, Matt Ryan, Tobin, uh, we kind of mm-hmm. struck up a friendship through that, um, mm-hmm. and Vance Kelly and a load of other guys uh, in that scene. Um, yeah. and We did New York Comic Con together a couple of times with the gallery. Um, and that was, you know, that was a cool learning experience, going to New York on my own. Like, mm. just, I kind of, yeah. So that was cool. That's kind of how that started. And then um, I'm just trying to think where it went from there because I kind of, I don't really do, I would say I don't do a massive amount of movie posters. I'm trying to do more now um mm-hmm. but i mean uh, i mean here, here's the here's a couple of selections that uh, uh that you have done throughout the year so for for uh the people out there we've got uh, yeah. the teenage mutant ninja turtles here which are which is a pretty cool set yeah those were little minis that we did with the main um those are done from vice press so mm-hmm. um we did those were those were just little sketches that i did Um, mm. when I was working on a bigger piece, which was the big poster that we did, the big 24 by 36 for the, mm. uh, the original Turtles film. Um, yeah. And James said he liked them and said, oh, let's do these little mini A5s that we can do. Mm. Um, so, yeah, that's the variant uh, poster. Yeah, that's the main edition there. Um, mm. I think they've all sold out now. I've got a handful of APs still. Yeah, people, um, APs are always, you know, uh, uh, available with the artists. So check their chops out and uh, they will, they might have, even if you write them a message, a really nice one, they might have somewhere, which, somewhere stacked away someone if you don't find it. Yeah, I've got a few of that. I've sold quite a few. There's still there's a few left. I've sold all the minis, all the little portraits. They've all gone. Mm. Um, I'll have a few of that. I'm going to open house this year in Sheffield. So I'll have, I'll have these with me. Um, 
at that. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not yeah. all you've done. I mean, uh, you've done this uh, beautiful yeah, dread piece. Yeah, that was that's really nice. That was uh, the one with Mondo last year where we met for Thought Bubble, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. So originally that was done as a uh, record sleeve for the uh, anniversary of the Dread movie mm-hmm. for Thought Bubble, um, which I have somewhere in here. Yeah, just grab it. Yeah. So yeah, this is the. Ah, uh, there it is. So yeah, that's that one. And that's in the the sleeve. It comes in this kind of cool um, nice. sl- slip case. Um, yeah, so we did that for Thought Bubble. And then what happened was I was working with Spencer on that. Um, and then uh, Eric then came to me and said, oh, this is cool. Let's do it as a poster as well. So it was kind mm-hmm. of like a last minute. I had to kind of tweak the artwork uh, and then turn it into, we just did it as like a little 18 by 24. Yeah. Um, I kind of wish we'd done it as a 24 by 36 now. Um, but at the time it was just, it was like a couple of weeks before Thought Bubble. It was like quickly mm-hmm. let's, turn the artwork into a poster and get it printed as quickly as we can. Um, So that was a fun one. And it's really close to my heart as well, because I worked on, I haven't mentioned it, but I worked at 2000 AD for about 10 years as a graphic designer. So Dread Mm -hmm. is like really close to my heart anyway. Exactly. Here's some some of the... um, This is some of the work I did. Yes, afterwards. This was after... after, this This was the illustration work that I've done for 2000 AD. But yeah. when I worked at 2000 AD, this was the stuff I was doing when mm-hmm. I was there, which was like the case files um, sleeve there. That's, that was designed by me. And then we used to just do like features in the magazines on movies that were coming out. So this is just like the graphic design work that I was doing mm-hmm. back then. So the the illustration on the cover there, that's not by me. That's by, I feel like that's a really early McMahon uh, dread. Okay. okay, um, okay. I love this yeah, one though. Judge yeah, that's, that. Yeah, that was a pinup that I did for. Mm-hmm. So after I left, I kind of because I, I didn't because I'd been doing the illustration work. Um, the editor at two thousand eight was like, "Let's you know do some do some illustration stuff now." Mm-hmm. So that's so I got to do a few covers, and, which was really nice to kind of do that. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good, man. And yeah, that's that, as I said, that's not all you've done. You've done a beautiful Jaws piece uh, where you could yeah, yeah. draw the big guy. Yeah, that was um, that was for um, for Matt and James at Vice Press. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that was a really fun one to work on. Um, essentially, that scene, that opening scene of that movie, as a kid, terrified me. And I was like, right, I'm going to draw the shark how I imagined the shark looked because mm. I think I, I don't know if you've watched like, the making of Jaws. Um, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, like, one of my favorite movies. So. <laughs> which, which which is the what's it called? Is it called? Um, the shark's not working. I think the documentary's called, which is like uh, the famous quote that everyone was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kept breaking down when they were trying to make it. I think Brucey, Brucey didn't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of these scenes, apparently, they wanted to show the shark, but because the shark kept breaking down, they just couldn't show the shark. Exactly, so which made this, which made for a good uh, good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which kind of which terrified me as a kid. Um, hmm. I watched it when I was like nine years old or something stupid, which I probably shouldn't have, but. <laughs> um, yeah, just this opening scene was the, was the was the scene that terrified me. So it was like it was just an excuse to to try and draw Bruce in all his glory. And yeah. like some people have said, like, oh, you know, he looks slightly different to the shark in the film. But that was kind of like intentional. I kind of just wanted it to be my own take on the shark because mm-hmm. it's a book as well. So you know, exactly. It's, it's, I didn't want it just to be just the shark. I just I just drew the shark out as I saw it and we made a few changes um uh, i think the eye was t- slightly too big in my version and we just made yeah. that a bit smaller and just little things but mm. yeah but that, that that's actually one of my favorite movie posters today, all right, all right. yeah and yeah you've done also jurassic park yeah yeah that was with savvy mm-hmm. um that was a fun one again I always tend to like lean towards the scenes in these movies that terrified me as a kid. Yeah, it's, I, I just wanted to say that. It feels like you <laughs> you yeah. have a theme there. Yeah. Um, and yeah, this I when I when I got to work on this, just doing research on like what other Jurassic Park movie posters are out there, I don't think anyone had really done the Raptors in the Kitchen as a poster. Mm-hmm. A lot, a lot of them seem to be like around the T Rex or other dinosaurs or just other exactly, or, exactly. And I just thought, let's let's try and do this. 
Uh, and this one went on for quite a while with approvals and changes and stuff. Mm. But yeah, I'm pleased with it. I've, again, I've got like a handful of these left. Yeah, still. They're terrible. Maybe, but yeah, I think they're quite rare now. I think they've all sold. Mm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you've also been working with uh, uh, more art with our good friend James over there with uh, Transformers here in this case, yeah. and which is which is pretty cool with all the, uh, the 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 I don't know smoke is it smoke yeah I'd say it's smoke right that, that goes just, off in the background yeah it's just debris and smoke and yeah it's like mm. yeah how can I make this look interesting so it's trying to add a bit of movement to the piece mm. and then. Yeah. Uh, my personal favorite of yours, obviously, because um, I'm a big Star Wars nerd, loving loving the stormtrooper there. I got the 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 the, the pinkish version of this one. Uh, oh, I love cool! This one. Yeah. That's that's yeah, a variant. Nice. Uh, that's a really nice one. I I really enjoy this one. So yeah, great great job fun, great job on that. Yeah, it's a fun one to do. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, uh, so so you technically have done a lot of movie content, and uh, yeah, maybe I, maybe I've done more than I think actually. <laughs> I, I I'm wondering because I, you you've also done I mean you also have done Blu-rays by the way um, just putting it out there the Tony Darko yeah you did here uh, you did uh, the Dunwich Horror yeah that's a great and, film and Moonfall here so also a yeah. lot of other mo movie rated stuff on Blu-rays uh, yeah. so check that out as well people for the collectors out there I love always seeing like the 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 cooler packaging in this case or covers uh, for the uh, special blu-rays so that's really cool to see and i i was wondering is that like is there something like do you like particularly more doing is it something you're more drawn to uh like on all these categories you dabble like from kick posters to uh, uh movie posters to uh you i mean you've done skateboards and other stuff so um yeah like uh what yeah that's that? for yeah that's for santa cruz yeah so yeah these, exactly these yeah. for example here yeah and so yeah, yeah a lot of a lot of cool stuff you, you can see the, the the metallica in the background there uh, of your office as well so yeah yeah is, is there something you're particularly drawn to or is it like basically everything give me give me anything i draw anything <laughs> yeah I, I kind of i just like drawing cool stuff you know i don't really right, fair of, enough <laughs> yeah i just i just like to create stuff that i'm into and um, whether it and and I don't know whether it's like the, the the graphic designer in me because I like to create so, like create artwork and then see how it works on different, yeah. in different mediums. So whether it's a print or it's a, like a physical skateboard or mm, whatever yeah. it is, you know, I kind of like that idea. Um, mm. I think maybe that's where that comes from. But mm, you know, I was always into like skateboarding and stuff as a kid. Yeah. Um, so it's nice to combine, you know, things like a band like Metallica and skateboarding together. So. And your your kids, do your kids skateboard or? Uh... Yeah, they have got. They've, I've got two girls. They've both got skateboards, um, but they don't. Skateboard. Do they have yours? Um, no, no, they don't. Ah. No. <laughs> okay, no. okay. Mine are just like in boxes and stuff in the studio. Yeah, yeah. collector's items. Yeah, well, so I just, no I'm just like, what am I going to do with these? I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> All right, I'm, all right. I actually, I was saying that while I'm here talking about um, again, because mm -hmm. I'm going to open house, I will have skateboards with me there. There so, you go. There you so go. So I might, if anyone wants a skateboard, I might sell them there. Yeah, there you go, people. I mean, they're the collectors for these kind of things for sure. And I mean, they look. I think it looks really nice when you got the the, the hangers, the skateboard hangers, and you can put them yeah. up on the wall at home. It looks also as a nice as an art piece. So. And yeah. especially if you're into skateboards. So I think that's something people should definitely take a look at. Yeah. Um, but uh, what I wanted to ask then uh, as well is, <clears throat> is there a special, like a project that you really, really loved, like uh, that you worked on already? Or is this something that you only maybe did once and want to go back to that? Is, is there a property or a move, like, a, like some kind of project that is your favorite child let's put it this way <laughs> let me let me remind myself because um, yeah i know it's a very tough question you you, you you don't have favorite children so i would think i think like um movie posters jaws is my favorite mm -hmm. poster okay. that i worked on definitely i think i was just i was just pleased with the way it came out um vice press were really lovely to work with um the feedback mm -hmm. was pretty minimal on that mm. so that's always nice 
Um, it's really hard to, to choose, but that, that's up there. I think probably the, the, the one that sticks in my mind um, that I have like the best memories would be uh, the Metallica, some of the Metallica stuff that I've done on the gig poster side. Mm. Um, for the latest tour run, we did this 72 seasons design with like an exploding skull. Mm. Did um, you so did, did you get to see them as well on the tour or yeah yeah we got to um, got to see them uh, at Donington. I've seen them I've seen them like plenty of times over the years, but that oh, was okay. that little that was a little bit extra special because we got guest list and we got to go in the ah. sort of snake snake pit area in the middle of the stage. It's like me and my wife and. Nice. My art was ev- everywhere, and it was on screens. Did you uh, did you get to meet them as well in in this context? No, nah. they okay. I think I probably could have met them if I wanted to, but it was just uh, I met I've met everyone around them that works with them pretty much. Oh, yeah. cool. um, and it was bizarre. It was a it was one of those experiences where we stood there, and everyone that's in the like the sort of private area is someone mm. that's someone so like i was we were stood next to sam from game of thrones which just stood next to us <laughs> nice and you know, there was like a comedian frank skinner was there and like a few others it was just like huh. this people spying <laughs> and stuff so yeah just a lot of memories with the metallica stuff and a lot of you kind of do the artwork yeah and you, it's all very solitary because you're just working on it and then when it actually gets it comes out and you go to an event like that mm. it's almost like all this unexpected stuff happens so sometimes <laughs> those are the the better experiences when you don't realize that it's that's going to happen yeah awesome that sounds really cool um let's talk about some movies like what have you seen lately anything that has stood out or tv that you want to recommend here on the show um, I mean, we are... well i've obviously seen the new june film which How, how's really, how's your opinion i loved it i thought it was great I saw it twice. Is it that. really? I, I'm sorry. I, I I don't want to be like rude or anything. But like, is it really that great? I I I yeah. find it okay. Yeah, I get. I understand like why some people it's not for them because of the kind of film that it is. Because mm-hmm. um, it's quite sort of slow and epic, and you know. It's all like that. But I like and, sometimes I like slow films. Not I, mm-hmm. I mean I like epic films as well. But like what if I mean what was it? Drive My Car is like a super slow burner, like like the Japanese yeah. film or something like that. I, I watch okay. things like that or or Perfect yeah, Days, sure. Perfect Days, the the, the Oscar nominated uh, Wim Wenders film about the uh, the Japanese toilet scrubber. Right. That's a I'm slow that. ass film. That's a slow okay. ass film, and it's like I'll have to check it out. I, I don't, yeah, I don't know, know why June didn't I just, sit. I mean, it's. I thought it was looked nice, obviously visually and everything, but it was like, hmm. maybe maybe it's because I've seen the Lynch did, one multiple times. So, did you watch it? Did you watch it once and then just come away from it and like not bothered? Because I, I I found with the first film, I watched the first film and I struggled with the first movie, and mm. I watched it a second time, and I was like, okay, I get it now. Because it was, it was kind of like there was a lot to take in, I think, and there's all these different factions, and I'm like, what's going on? Who are these? Yeah, I know. I, I I understand like the the story because, as I said, the, the Dune film, the the Lynch film, obviously oh, helped so the a lot. Original. Yeah, yeah, the eighty, that's the eighty four. That's, that's the only thing in it, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. So yeah, yeah, I watched yeah. that, and my my buddy, he's a big big Dune fan, like read the, the books so so many times. And yeah. uh, so he explained a lot as well. If I had questions, uh, like my questions were like towards further, where is this going? But yeah, sure. I, I don't know that I don't know. The film was like, it's like I I don't know how to describe it. But on the on the I think on the on the first or second watch of June one, mm-hmm. I fell asleep. <laughs> on the second one, I almost fell asleep. I had to fight hard in the first thirty minutes or so. Then it took. Okay. Then it, picked up but i yeah, don't know why it just it, it lulled me to sleep okay no i i really enjoyed it i watched mm-hmm. it twice I, I went and watched it and then a few days later i went and watched it again so because it was mm-hmm. just like friends who were like oh have you seen it? i'm like no i'll go and see it again you know so so um yeah i, I really enjoyed it um right. and that's that was, that's that and then i recently watched the movie turbo kid you watched that that's really good yeah, uh, I have not watched it, but I know about it. Yeah, that's a great film. Um, yeah, series, what we've, what we've been watching series-wise. I've been watching the latest Guy Ritchie, The Everyman. Is it The Every? Not The Everyman, The Gentleman. The Gentleman, yeah. Mm-hmm. The Gentleman. 
Yeah, that's and, yeah that's, the, the Netflix that's, series yeah, version yeah. of the movie. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. All right, all right, all right, all right. it's on the list. Wanted to watch. Um, well. I don't tend to like. I mean, I know obviously like June and stuff, but I'm, I've never been. I know it's like a, a massive film, but I, I've never been someone that's when the latest Marvel film comes out, I rush out to the cinema to see the new Spider-Man film. I just like watch it if it's on because I just mm. I, I like Marvel and stuff like that, but I'm not like crazy about all that that whole. I feel you. I mean, I, I think it's it's too much. It's the 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 the, the, the superhero movies kind of like are like blend all into one and are they're, not that good great. anymore. And I get it. It's they're like, brilliant. They are, they do what they do and it's amazing. But I, I, I mean, in the of, beginning, um, I, th I think in the beginning it was like when we had like, I think till end game and yeah. maybe this, the, this, the, the third spot was it the third or the second Spider-Man movie or something like mm -hmm. that. After that, up to then it was nice. But after that, it kind of like, only the only good marvel related movie was uh in, in my opinion the um the the, the animated spider-man miles morales yeah, yeah they're, they're great yeah yeah um i think when um i mean i can remember when when batman begins came out it's like batman mm -hmm. begins and the, t the first toby Maguire spider-man when those i think spider-man came first then batman was shortly afterwards yeah it was like they came out of nowhere and they were just I, at the time, I just thought they were amazing. It's like, oh wow, Spider-Man's finally been done properly on screen. <laughs> yeah. Because um, he was like always my favorite as a kid. You know, I had the Spider-Man yeah. costume when I was like eight or whatever. But you know, <laughs> um, and used to read the comics and whatnot. Um, yeah. And and I, I really like the newer Spider-Man films, but I just I, I just find all the other stuff it just gets a bit crazy, and I just yeah. I kind of I don't even know where I am with it now. Yeah, I can so totally much, understand but, this. But you know, sense. it's they are they're amazing. they're great they're great. But it's just it's just like I'm not the sort of person that rushes out to watch those big mm. superhero films sort of straight away. I guess. Yeah, it's all good. I I'm, I stopped doing it as well. So. <laughs> oh okay. I try to I try to what what I want to see next is uh, uh, the the Godzilla movie. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. new one, minus, Godzilla minus one. Kong. No, uh, no, 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 the, the Kong New Empire, the, with, yeah, with, yeah, baby, yeah, with yeah. baby, with baby King Kong. Yeah, yeah. I still haven't, I still haven't said mine as well. That's a great movie. I know, I need to, I need to sort it out. Yeah, so and got, I, you know. I still want to watch the, the black and white because they have a black and white version now. Ah, okay, that cool. one. I want to see that one. It uh, sounds really nice to, yeah. to watch. So looking forward to that, and uh, um, I'm I'm seeing Monkey Man. I don't know if you have heard of it. There's a new Dev Patel film produced by Jordan Peele. Okay. It is uh, it is basically John Wick. Uh, uh, if if John Wick would be in India and like an Indian. Right. Okay. That's kind of like what it feels like. Obviously not in this assassin, but there's a lot of uh, very stylish uh, action fights. And uh, um, has a message, social, social message about cast, I think. And uh, yes, yeah, it looks really nice. So uh, that's uh, what I'm looking forward to. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, talking about other late, late things that uh, have been coming out, there's uh, always a lot of posters and illustrations coming out. Is there anything that you said, oh my God, this is amazing. I really love this, this uh, lately. Oh, man. Now you're asking. There's always there's always <laughs> lots of good stuff. That's like that, that's why I gave you the talking points. Before. <laughs> no, I know. I, I'm so I should have done my own research. No, I yeah, there's <laughs> stuff worry. I see. Also, nine times, like most most times, it's just like um, a lot of the stuff that um, like my buddy uh, Matt Ryan, like some of the stuff that he's doing. That his Toy Story was fantastic. Oh yeah, the Toy Story looked really amazing. Yeah. Um, he's got he's got a load of cool stuff. It's coming out. Um, uh, who else is there? Uh, a lot of these people tend to be like people I'm friends with. Mm. Oh yeah, I understand that. <laughs> uh, also, like uh, my buddy Pi as well. He's a guy I used to work with at 2000 AD. Um, yeah. He's got his his comic book um, Petrol Head. Mm -hmm. which is um, available through Image Comics. And that's not a shameless plug. I genuinely, genuinely, um, yeah, just... Petrol Head, who is this? Pi? Like P-I? Uh, P-Y-E. Uh, P-Y-E. It's, oh, okay. it, it's, it's really, yeah, so this is cool. 
Um, so it's released through Image Comics. But yeah, oh, cool. it's, 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 it's just really good stuff. All right. Um, yeah. Anything else you want to mention? Or you don't have to, obviously. So. <laughs> no, I'm just trying. There's, too, there's, all this, like, there's always too much stuff. There's too much stuff to mention. I'll be here all day. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> those, 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 those are the ones that spring to my mind. Um, yeah, I mean that's 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 what we're looking for. Obviously, that's uh, that's the ones that stick, so they spring to your mind. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. Um, then uh, is uh, uh, we've seen your or we see your workplace like literally here, but you also have given me an image of the workplace itself, and uh, this is this is what it looks like. It, it, I I don't know. I, I wondered why it, it it feels like so much brighter on on ca on camera here than in in the image you gave. <laughs> But yeah. uh, um, how's how's this studio like? Well, like, what's the setup? Do you have like an like a certain way you do things, or uh, so, um, or what's the idea behind it? So this is um, it's essentially like a kind of summer house that's in the, in my garden. Mm, so it's okay. actually away from the house at the bottom of the garden. Um, <clears throat> so when we bought this house a few years ago, this was like one of the incentives. This, this building was here, so I was like, oh, I can turn this into my studio space. Nice. Um, so yeah, this is actually I've actually in this photo, I've actually recently tidied it there. That is tidy. But normally it's, <laughs> it's normally there's like just crap everywhere. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I mean obviously you can see I've got my flat file on the left there. That's obviously got all my prints, and that's where I do all my print orders, all my packing mm. and stuff there. Um, yeah, so got my Cintiq in the corner that I work on. Um, you know, it's just like the idea is that I've just got a space that's away from the house that's quiet and it's just I can do my thing mm. and I can blare out loud music or whatever it is I want to do. Do you do you live around nature or is it like is it like an urban, like suburban type area? No, we we sort of we live in like a small village um okay. in, in the West Midlands. Uh we're sort of I don't know, we're in we're in Worcestershire, so we're we're about thirty minutes outside of Birmingham. But it's oh, okay. sort of it's quite a lot of countryside and um my garden is just like behind it's just allotments so there's it's just fields behind so it's quite quiet oh, all okay. i can hear all day is the birds and it's mm, nice sometimes nice. my dog my dog will come in or the cat will come in and say all that it's about ah, it. okay that's nice that's nice yeah <laughs> And uh, yeah, speaking of uh, your workplace and all all these things, um, how how is it? How do you work in terms of like what's your process? Uh, how do you go about creating a piece? And what are your steps in 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 this way? Sure, uh, well, it varies. Like it's client work, and like it varies. So depends uh, how much of, like how much lead time I've got on a project. So sometimes mm -hmm. they'll come and it will be like we've got a thing and we need it in a few weeks and yeah. I'll depend, depend on how busy I am will determine how that process goes I guess so if I've got a longer lead time then I'll spend more time doing sketches and ideas and whatnot but yeah mm. normally it'll be like just some very loose sort of pencil sketches in my little notebook just to depend if it's a <clears throat> so if it's like a movie poster for example like the Jaws piece it would have just been mm. um, just a quick sketch and then that'll go Dude. Do you go from your mind in that kind of like the first stage or is it like something you watch it and then you sketch up something while you watch? Normally, yes, yeah, so if it's a movie, I'll watch the movie and sketch okay. whilst I'm watching it. So I'll just sit how's in it, the studio. How's it for other things? I, I wonder because like uh, usually I talk just straight to a movie poster people or I have only done a few gig posters. But how how's it for other material? Like, for example, for a game, do you play the game and then come up with it? Or like, how's that? Uh, so... Um, just trying to think. So here we go. In fact, I've got this one here. So this was the soundtrack that we did for the game Crystal Protocol. Mm. So for this one, they they came to me. Um, here we go. What's the inside? Mm, nice. So yeah, that this one was like I'd already coincidentally I'd already played the game. Mm. So I'd already played the game on the PlayStation. It's the guys that did Dead Space, if you know that game. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so Sledgehammer Games came to me, asked me to do the work. I pitched um, a rough idea to them, which they rejected, mm -hmm. first of all. And then, uh, so yeah, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that one was easier because I'd already played the game. So I kind of knew what the visuals were. I knew what the narrative was. Mm -hmm. um, 
yeah, most times I'd say I'd always go and look at the source material first before mm. I even Is think it- about did, did you go about it as well? Because like uh, when we when we examined the movie posters, you took uh, the seeds that gave you fear, kind of like is that is that uh, as well with the game? Because this looks like a dark game. I haven't played it, but uh, uh, it looks it's like a survival it's survival horror dark. game. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a, if you play Dead Space, it's like that. It's survival horror okay. in space. Um, okay. so it's sort of like psychological horror with monsters. Um, yeah, I, I, like I said, it varies. Um, like for example, if it's a gig poster. Hmm. Um, normally it'll be like I'll try and maybe tie it to the location so mm-hmm. if it's like in a certain city then I'll maybe I'll try and incorporate something that relates to that city in some way it could mm-hmm. be something like an animal or a building or whatever that might be what is this country famous for like mm-hmm. what, what you know what is the what is the animal that's in that region or what flowers do they have you know that kind of thing mm. that would inspire the visuals um so yeah it varies um but yeah always starts out as a rough concept that just gets mm. pitched either gets rejected or tweaked and then it's just moved to final art that's mm, okay, kind of okay. how most jobs i'm pretty structured try to be pretty structured because mm. i don't have a lot of time to make this stuff Mm, how do you yeah, help? No, Sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, because like most times, you know, on average, it's around a month, if that, to like mm. put a piece together from start to finish. And if you've got feedback and changes, that can delay. The more time yeah. I can have on the final artwork, the final artwork is going to be better. For sure. Um, so, how, how do you go about it in, in these stages when it comes to um, to artist block kind of situation? You know, like, you know, you don't, uh, maybe you don't have a, the greatest idea and you don't feel it as well, but you still ha- want to deliver. Is that like, how, how do you like, or are you giving 150% every time? Or is it just like, okay, I got to set boundaries here for myself? Yeah. I, well, I always try and give 150% every time because I've got this thing of like i've got to try and beat the last thing i did mm-hmm. like okay. almost like a like a weird um you know it's like never release your first album first like your best album first mm-hmm. if you know what i mean like yeah, if yeah. you're a band it's like um because the rest of the albums will just be you know they mm-hmm. won't be as good mm-hmm. but yeah it's kind of um yeah like the whole artist block thing uh I don't, I want to say I don't suffer with it, but I, I do get it sometimes, but it's never that much that okay. it stops me, stops me from doing something. I think you've always got the beauty of doing anything that's in music or film or whatever. You've always got something to draw from. Yeah, exactly. The there. Um, I'd say gig posters are probably harder than movie posters in that respect, because mm-hmm. sometimes you just haven't really got anything to go off of. No um, assets. Well, if it's not, if it's not a band that are like heavily, visual like mm. most metal bands have got strong visuals anyway but if it's something like i don't know i did a thing for elton john like mm-hmm. elton john is just like he's the guy in big glasses and crazy outfits so mm-hmm. that's kind of the inspiration for that right. but um i'm just trying to think of another example pearl jam would be an example i didn't i did a pearl jam post and i did not know what to do for pearl jam at all because <laughs> i didn't really know what they're they're kind of like a grungy band Mm-hmm. Um, they're you know they're a great band, but I don't I didn't know what to do, and then in the end I just drew a big ball because it was tied to the location. Yeah. yeah. So. Do you um do you take uh, uh or would you take the job of a band that the music you're not a fan of? Unlikely. Unlikely. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I've been approached before about and I've turned stuff down, and normally it's because. It's because I've already got work on. Mm. Um, because I'm normally, you know, I'm sort of normally sort of six months out mm. you know, with work, yeah. pretty much. Um, unless they're a band that I really want to work on, or it's a thing that I really want to work on, I'll squeeze it in. But if it's something I'm not that into, or maybe I just feel like I'm not the right person to do this, this I'm not yeah. the right artist for this job, you know, because someone else could do a better job than me. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, is there is there like a like a band and a certain location that you really would love to work on? Oh man, <laughs> I know, I know. Um, I've been asked this a few times actually. Um, oh, you? Oh, I've always, okay. yeah. I've, I've been asked what band I'd like to work with. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I've always thought I'd quite like to do something for the Prodigy. Mm-hmm. Um, probably one of the big UK shows, I guess, would make the most sense, maybe. Because mm. like, because I was asking because like you you because uh, you mentioned the the different like going by the different locations and mm. uh, I was wondering if there's like basically I, I think my, I I uh, asked around uh, the bush here is which location would you love to draw? <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a oh man, I don't know. Um, <sighs> can't think. I don't know. Where's a really cool location in the world? I need to concert this. at the Grand Canyon. Yeah, I was just about to say <laughs> that I was thinking the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe a, maybe a, the first band to ever perform in space. That would be good. Yeah. Or what, what, the they, what are they called? The the, the Go Go's? <laughs> Uh, when they yeah, had okay. when they made the video for with the with the plane ride, you know which okay, one I'm talking about. Where they where they in not... zero gravity the whole time in this in this plane. Okay, that's that's a, that's an amazing video. I mean, they do all like okay. is it the Go Go's? I don't I don't know. I forgot what the name was. But there's one band who does these all these crazy videos that are basically one takes. Okay. And uh, yeah, it it's very elaborate and planned out. Uh, not my music, but uh, the 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 videos are on point. Okay. Uh, um, uh, so yes, yeah, so speaking of uh, things you want to work on, is there anything else you want to work on in terms of uh, movies and uh, also maybe other genres? Because uh, I, I don't see sports here or anything. Maybe you want to dabble in the sports world. Except um, skateboard, if we call skateboarding a sport, obviously. I'd be quite, I'd be, well, it's not, it's not sports, but it'd be quite fun to do something with like a sports brand, maybe. Mm-hmm. Like Nike or something like that. Or vans, or I don't know. Like well, what like what that. would you want to do for them? Like, do you want to design a shoe? Don't know. Could be anything. Could be clothing. Could be yeah, maybe like working on a shoe. All right. All right. I didn't I do a get, shoe ones, but I want to get vans. my Luke. I want to get my Luke Priest a Nike. So yeah, that'd be that'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, we'll just change the Nike logo for Luke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sounds okay, good. Done. Ship it. That's it. That's the design. <laughs> <laughs> all all white. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just the material is different on <laughs> on each layer. <laughs> all right. Um yeah, I'm sorry. Is there anything else movie wise you wanna uh, you like really wanna dig into? Oh man. Um there's some well, there is some stuff that I wanna do. Um well, I'm already doing some of them, so I can't say. Okay, what they okay, are okay. Because, Fair enough. Because <laughs> I'll get, I'll get, I'll get told off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't want to. We don't I want think, that. I think I might get told off. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, we definitely don't want that. But uh, is, is there maybe like, would you love to work as a, also as a key artist or something like that, or just uh, illustrated uh, alternative movie oh, yeah. posters? I mean, it'd be fun to do key art for stuff. Absolutely. All right. Um, I've done, you know, I've done bits of bobs in the past but it'd be really fun to do you know like the main key art for a new series yeah. or like a you know like a stranger things or or something like that that'd be really fun to do yeah i think um, uh, you would be a good fit for that yeah it'd be fun yeah thanks yeah um but you know we'll see maybe in the future we'll see <laughs> we'll see um yeah then we'll come to my favorite question obviously because uh um i i want you to know uh that uh, i mean i i think i told you already that we are working on a film on canvas volume two our my mm-hmm. book that uh, came out uh, two years ago and uh yeah we're working with spoke art on volume two here and uh this uh, why the question is always there um which artist would you like, or a fine artist, a classic artist, would you like to see make a movie poster? And what would that person be doing? Oh my god! Um, uh, fine art, just artist in general, or does it have to be? Let's say, obviously, we can do that. Uh, but I would love to, like, people that might not have been in the in the modern in that, movie in that type realm. industry, yeah. Um because like uh my, my best example is always let's let's see what a Pablo Picasso uh Avengers Endgame poster would look like. Yeah, yeah. Um I'm gonna go for something that's 
I would I would consider them to be a fine artist, but other people might because it's not. But someone like Jim Phillips, who did the I, who did someone like him do uh, I don't know, like a Star Wars poster or something. That'd be crazy. Jim Phillips. I'll 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 oh yeah, I know who he is now from his art. Yeah, I'll pull it up for the people as well to see. So there, there you can see. Do He's a the Star guy, Wars yeah. poster. Everyone, everyone knows the hand, so. Yeah. If you don't know that hand, I don't know, you've probably been living under a rock or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love also this one, the Donald Trump one looks great. <laughs> yeah, I just think, yeah, that it'd be really interesting to see him do something, something in yes. that world. Yes, that would um, be interesting to see, yeah. I mean, this is just stuff that I was into when I was younger, like all that old sort of skateboard art and stuff, so. Yeah, I understand. Like, I mean, he's like the master of that. Yes, for sure, for sure. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm uh, also. This is like this is the, the idea of the project was like, like what if, like a what if situation, and that's why uh, yeah, sure. it's always interesting to see um, uh, like uh, people that have nothing to do with movie posters in, in that kind of sense, and uh, that w what they would come up with, you know. Yeah, um, you know. I can't think of who else. You could do some of the like the old sort of traditional painters, I guess, Dali's and people like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, There's, I mean, was what was for the fun ones? Uh, I think there was. Uh, I think Oliver Barrett said to do Rosco uh, and uh, I don't know any movie as, as Rosco. Let's I think say, was, like, what about Banksy? Let's do Banksy do a do a movie post. Yeah, that would be interesting. I mean, that would be that would be he, interesting. He technically did hit a movie poster for his documentary. <laughs> yeah, 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 true. Just get and just get him to do it on a wall somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. That's that's yeah. actually like literally a movie poster on a on a poster uh, on a on a bus yeah. stop or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be great for sure. Yeah, um, yeah, this uh, would commence the the podcast. So uh, I think we're through. Other than you want to talk about some uh, more topics, uh, if you have uh, something that you really want to get off your chest, we're here and listen. Um, just give me a follow online at Luke Prisar, which is there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I put it up there. there. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that's about it, really. And uh, yeah, then that would be the next step, though. Uh, if if you want to shout out uh, some people as well, friends, family, um, uh, over over the 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 career that you have been um, having. What? Should, what? Okay. Well, thank people. Yeah, I feel like you know, I, yeah, it doesn't have to be a thank you, but if you just want to say hi, always glad well, it's, that it's, we got in touch. Gonna my, you know, it's got to be my my wife really, hasn't it? Because she puts up with all my nerdy ways and yeah <laughs> which is why i'm shut down here in the garden in my little studio space <laughs> fair um, enough <laughs> yeah all right then thank you to the wife and uh the kids as well or oh yeah obviously <laughs> throw got, them got in there as well throw yeah, them in just there. throw them in there as well yeah that's a given yeah <laughs> all right perfect <laughs> that's great all right. Thank you again, Luke, so much for coming on. It's been a real pleasure. And uh, yeah, please uh, follow Luke on the socials. Uh, he always uh, pushes uh, his art and uh, shows you the great stuff he's working on there. And uh, also, if you are uh, wanting to buy something, go check out the shop of Luke's. And uh, if you don't find what you're looking for, maybe there is uh, one or two final copies somewhere in the flat file we've seen earlier. So uh, ask him for that as well. And uh, you might get lucky. <laughs> all right cool. thank you guys Cheers. we're out bye 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 bye